Blackmagic announced sometime last year a brand new card, uh, sort of the successor to the previous Decklink Quad. For those not familiar, the Decklink Quad is a four channel, uh, either, you know, any combination of inputs or outputs for four channels total. Uh, capture card for the PC and uh, Mac, I guess, you can install it in a PCI Express slot uh, and and use it as a capture card or as an output card or both at the same time. So it was a great multi-channel card that's been used for years and years and years. A lot of our customers are using it with vMix. Now, last year, they announced the upgrade to it, which is called the Decklink Quad 2, funnily enough, and it's a brand new eight channel card. So uh, for those who know the previous quad, it has eight connectors on it. The new one has eight connectors, and now you can use all eight if you want to. So the way that works, they've sort of designed it in two modes. By default, it works just like the previous Decklink Quad 2 card. And in fact, I have a diagram here just to show what that looks like. So this is previously how the old quad card was mapped and how the new one is mapped. As you can see there, in the Blackmagic desktop video utility, there's eight ports to choose from, but they're mapped in software, such as vMix, in one, two, three, and four. As you can see, one is mapped to one and two ports, two is mapped to three and four, three is mapped to five and six, and four is mapped to seven and eight. So if you buy this card and chuck it in a PC, uh, that's what you're gonna see in vMix. The first four are gonna be able to be used as inputs or outputs using group together one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just like the previous Decklink Quad, if you're using channel one and you were sending something out of channel one, it would go out of the number two port. If you're bringing in a camera, it would go in through the number one port and so on and so forth for all of those four channels. Now, what you can do in the Blackmagic desktop video utility is you can reassign those two, four, six, and eight ports to be used as an additional four channels. So if you reassign those in the desktop video utility, there's drop down boxes for each of the ports you can assign, it will look like this. So now, instead of just having one, two, three, and four, now you've got five, six, seven, and eight using those secondary ports. So the order of the ports is actually one, five, two, six, three, seven, four, eight. Um, but see, now, hopefully, you'll see with these two diagrams, you'll see the reason for that. It's so it can be a drop-in replacement for the previous quad. And if you want to, you can have those second ports. So you have eight possible channels you can use. So you could have, you know, six of those as inputs and two of those as outputs in vMix, for example, or, or all eight as inputs, or just use, you know, the first four ports as per the previous cards. So that is the Decklink, uh, Decklink Quad 2 uh, quads from Blackmagic Design, available very soon from your nearest Blackmagic reseller. Mm -hmm.